everyone, it's Jackie. I am here to show you how to sign up a preferred customer. I've had a few of you asking me uh, about the auto purchase and there's been some, some issues there. So I just want to go through real quick and show you how to sign up a preferred customer. Okay? All right, so go to sizzle.net or you can go to your own website, you know, johnsmith.sizzle.net, whatever that is. And then you're going to go ahead and click on join us. Now, I just went to sizzle.net, so I'm going to have to put in my website name. That's a little slow. Come on. All right, waiting. There it is. Okay. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to put URL. This is really important. If you sign up for a customer and you don't put this information, they are going to be assigned to someone else. Okay, make sure you choose the right home country, United States. You're going to choose preferred customer. Next. And we're going to type in All right, this is just only one. All righty, and then we're going to put in a birthday. Mm -hmm. Username. I usually use the first person's name, their initial, and then one, two, three. Uh, Sydney, you're born. Let's say Denver. All right, let me go ahead and add an address. One, two, three. Main Street. And let's say that's Dana Point. North California. And that zip code. All right. Phone number. And email address. Okay, click next. All right, let's go ahead and order a two pack of the age pill. Before we do that, I want to show you this isn't the only, these aren't the only options when you get started. Look at this view additional products. Okay, everything opens up here by category. All right, um, let's go ahead and do a two pack of the age pill for this preferred customer. Click one. And you're going to click Next. This page is auto ship. Be careful. Do not set up your customer on an auto ship unless he or she would like you to. Okay? Um, if you do this, it's going to go out um, without their permission. Also, some people are forgetting to put the order in on the previous page and they just put it here. Just read, you guys. That's the biggest hint here. Read. Auto ship set up. Please select when your enrollee would like to ship their auto ship order, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Uh, if you do set it up, ship my auto ship now. You don't want to do that. You want to ship it 30 days from now. Okay. If they don't want an auto ship, and most people don't until they try the age pill, go ahead and just scroll down and go to next. Okay. All right. Here we go. Order recap. I usually read this off to them. Confirm the address. I have a chance to change it if I've, if I've mistyped. Proceed. Again, shipping address. Just confirm it with them once. I'll let them know it's going to go out USPS priority. We're going out the next morning. Or it will be going out that same day if you're getting in the order early enough by 12 o'clock Mountain Time. And then I'll let them know that the grand total will be $148.12. That's $131.90 for the two-pack, $6 for the shipping, and $10.22 for tax. And they usually say, okay, that's fine. And then... Uh, if they don't say anything, I'll let them know. All right, I'm ready for your credit card information. Then I put it in over here. Expiration. And then the next page is actually the, um, the three-digit CVV. Now, I'm not going to go any further here, so I don't have to put in a credit card. That's not a real credit card uh, <laughs> number, by the way. Um, and then you click Next, and this takes you to the CVV 
on that last page though, you do have to pay attention because toward the bottom, it says you have to click a box to confirm and then click over here, click over here. There's a box up here and then there's a box over here, like confirming or something, and then you would click next and then it takes you to the confirmation. So that's it. What I do is I take a screenshot of the person's order just to confirm it and then I email it to them because I noticed that the email function on this last page where you can send it to someone, it doesn't work. People are not getting those emails, so I send it to them along with a note. Thank you for being my preferred customer. If you'd like to um, manage your purchases, you can go to sizzle.net and then you can uh, log in. Use your username and password, which I've set up for them, and I put it in my email. I also send a copy to myself. And I have a file for everyone, for my customers, age pill login. So when they call me back and say, hey, I'd like to order some more age pill, I have their login info. And it's nice and easy. Um, the company saves their credit card info and their address and all that good stuff. All you'll need for reorders is their three-digit CVV code. So if you are writing anything down, make sure you destroy it or shred it. Don't keep your customer's credit card information. Okay, the, um, destroy it. Um, the company keeps keeps the card information, and all you will ever see is the and customer service is the last four digits of the credit card number. So that is all for now, and I hope this was helpful to you. Thanks, guys. Bye bye.